Kelevan, what's emerged today that's really struck you in, in that testimony given by Ambassador Yovanovitch? Well, the most striking uh, thing really about uh, this testimony is uh, how personal and moving the testimony was. It's a stark contrast uh, from the first testimonies we saw on Wednesday that were very uh, factual, very dry this time. She really went into detail as to uh, what this meant personally. She was a human example of uh, that back-channel foreign policy uh, that uh, Donald uh, Trump uh, is said to have led, uh, thanks to his uh, personal attorney, Rudy uh, Giuliani. So she really went in detail into uh, the moments that led uh, to, uh, as you mentioned, uh, that abrupt removal uh, earlier in the spring of 2019. And uh, really the moment uh, that uh, struck uh, the people that were listening to uh, this hearing was a very powerful moment when uh, she was questioned about uh, the transcript of the, that now infamous phone call uh, on July 25th between Donald Trump and Vladimir Zelensky, where Donald Trump uh, referred to her as the woman that she was bad news and that she was going to go through uh, some things. Uh, she uh, testified uh, that uh, someone was looking at her when she was reading that transcript, when she found out uh, the words of the president regarding her. And she said that that person uh, saw uh, the color drain from her face. Uh, she uh, used words like shocked, alarmed, concerned that the U.S. president would speak about her or about any U.S. ambassador uh, in uh, those words, uh, saying uh, that uh, she uh, really uh, saw... Uh, uh, this as uh, very uh, disturbing and when pressed about how it made her feel uh, the words she's going to go through some things she tried to stay away from directly saying it was a threat uh, but eventually said it did feel uh, like a vague uh, threat so uh, really a powerful testimony from uh, Maria Ivanovic uh, here on this uh, day two uh, really going to uh, the core of how Donald Trump himself uh, eventually had her uh, removed and threatened her in uh, that conversation with uh, the uh, Ukrainian president. Yeah, and extraordinary that uh, President Donald Trump should be continuing uh, with that smear campaign against Ambassador Yovanovitch because almost in real time he was uh, tweeting just a short while ago about her track record. Uh, some might call that witness intimidation, but the president is obviously watching uh, and Yovanovitch clearly has his attention. I mean, do you get the impression uh, perhaps President Trump is, is rather worried at what he's been hearing? Well, uh, unlike uh, Wednesday, where he said that he hadn't watched any minute of it, that he didn't care about uh, this hearing, this time he was clearly uh, watching and, as you said, uh, tweeting in a real time about uh, Mary Ivanovich, just as she was talking about how she felt threatened by the U.S. president. Uh, he uh, was doubling down on uh, his uh, smear campaign, saying that everywhere she had gone uh, had uh, turned uh, bad. And now the uh, Democrats really quickly seized on uh, those real-time tweets because uh, they actually, uh, Adam Schiff actually read that tweet aloud back to Marie Ivanovich, uh, asking her how she felt about uh, those words. And the, uh, the Democrats really uh, doubling down on that, saying uh, that they were very concerned and that they were paying close attention to what they saw at a witness uh, tampering and a witness intimidation. Uh, and that could be possibly uh, something that they could use in uh, the impeachment articles, witness intimidation, witness uh, tampering. Uh, Donald Trump, uh, the U.S. president, really paying close attention. Obviously, uh, we don't know if he's worried or not, but he's definitely uh, watching uh, closely and trying to get his point uh, across and saying what he uh, believes uh, is true and, again, smearing uh, one of his former ambassadors as uh, she is uh, testifying in uh, Congress. But we are probably going to see uh, much more uh, coming out of this testimony once uh, the Republicans finally get their line of questioning. Yeah, indeed. She comes across as extremely eloquent and extremely poised, Ambassador Yovanovitch. Thank you very much indeed for bringing us up to speed. Kedavan Gorgistani, outside Congress. Thank you.